Exxon Valdez fundamentally altered the legal framework surrounding oil spills in the United States. In 1989, only a few weeks before the grounding of the Exxon Valdez on Bly Reef, a piece of legislation called the Oil Pollution Act had been introduced into the U.S. House of Representatives. The bill had been debated intermittently throughout the 1970s and 1980s, but it had languished in congressional subcommittees with little chance of passage. However, the advent of the Exxon Valdez bill, with its sustained media focus and public outcry, shifted the political dynamic. The Oil Pollution Act sailed through both houses of Congress unanimously and was signed into law by President George H.W. Bush on August 18, 1990. Among its many provisions, the Oil Pollution Act of 1990 strengthened requirements for oil spill preparation and planning, increased U.S. Coast Guard response capability, and required double hulls on new oil tankers. The Oil Pollution Act also authorized NOAA to assess and recover damages caused by oil spills, requiring that compensation collected from those responsible be used to restore coastal habitats to viable and productive natural conditions. It just happened to be the Exxon Valdez. It just happened to be Exxon ship. It could have been Arcos, it could have been BPs, it could have been anybody's ship. The reason the spill occurred is the system had deteriorated to the point where oversight was lax, or I'm starting to see that we're falling back into this complacency that was existed before the oil spill. <laughs>